Hey guys, Soccer from Socky Ticket. In today's video, we are going to be talking about five powerful ecosystem features for your Samsung Galaxy products. Ecosystem means all your devices will be connected to each other and they will be working cohesively with each other, providing some amazing features. Now, in this video, as an example, I have a Samsung Galaxy tablet, I have a Samsung Galaxy laptop, and I have a Samsung Galaxy smartphone and I have them all connected together under the same Samsung account, and we are on the same Wi-Fi. The ecosystem needs to be on the same Wi-Fi for all these features to work. Right now, you can see the display of my laptop has been extended to the tablet. That's just one feature. Also, you can see my phone is completely projected to my laptop, and you can see as I control this, or if I control this, things happen on both of these devices. So they're all fully connected under the ecosystem. Let's dive in, look at five powerful features of these products. All right, the very first feature I wanna talk about is known as the multi-control feature. It is enabled on all three devices. Now, multi-control allows me to connect all my devices together, so three products all connected via multi-control. Let me show you what it can do, and I wanna show you a couple options as well. So take a look at this. I'm using the trackpad of my laptop right now. Uh, you can see the pointer is right there, okay? It's moving around. So what I can do is because I have multi-control enabled and I've got this ecosystem, I can swipe over, I can go to the right side with the trackpad and seamlessly transfer to my phone. Now you can see the trackpad right now is on the phone and I'm able to control the phone with my trackpad. I can even go over here and I can launch my gallery application or whatever. I can basically control my phone with the trackpad from my laptop, okay? By the way, there's more you can do. I'm gonna show that to you in a second, but let me swipe back over. Look at this. Look at the black pointer right there that's moving around. And as I come back to the left, it just seamlessly transfers to the laptop. Now I can do the same thing going from the laptop to the tablet, all right? So now I can swipe over and I am at the tablet. And again, I can go to my gallery right over here. I can launch it. I can control the tablet with the trackpad right here. And on top of that, I do wanna show you one more thing. I do have a keyboard attached here, but just to give an example, I can use this keyboard for this laptop or this keyboard for this tablet. So as an example, let me just pull up the calculator application right here. Let's do a calculation and let me just use the keyboard right over here. So look at this, I'm gonna say one and you see it just came up here. I'm using the Galaxy Books keyboard to control the tablet. So I can use a mouse, a trackpad and a keyboard on this product. If you don't have a keyboard, Imagine how helpful that is because this keyboard right here is a $350 accessory, but if you don't have one of these, then you can use your laptop's keyboard, no problem. Again, as you can see, I'm pressing here and you can see the numbers just populating right over there. Now that's not everything with the multi-control. I can also, let me just, as an example, let me zoom in over to my phone and my laptop. Now what I'm gonna do is I am gonna swipe over now I'm at my phone and I can grab anything on my phone and drag and drop it to my laptop. So, so take a look at this. Here's a photo. Okay, that photo right there, I want that on my laptop. So what I'm gonna do is again, go back, just drag and drop that photo to my laptop screen and it's transferring as you can see. And now that photo is right there as you can see. And let me just go back to my phone with the trackpad. There we go. This is absolutely crazy, guys. Let me X that out. So that's the multi-control, and I can do the same thing with the tablet as well. And I can do from the tablet to the phone, from the tablet to the laptop, from the laptop to the phone, whatever. Now, let me show you an amazing interface in relation to multi-control. That's gonna blow your mind. So like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, all three devices are logged in to my Samsung account, and that's why all this is working. So here's the app, multi-control right here. 
it is pre-installed on a Samsung Galaxy laptop and all other Samsung products. Look at this. Here's my laptop. Here's my tablet, which you can see on this side, okay? It is replicating the exact wallpaper. Look at that. It is insane. And then right here is my smartphone. Take a look at the wallpaper I have on my smartphone. It is being replicated right here, okay? And I can actually order these as I please. So if I grab my tablet or my phone, I can put it on this side. And if, if I grab my tablet, I can put it on this side. It all depends on how you want to uh, configure your workspace. And then when I click apply, now the phone, I can take the phone right here and physically put it on this side and the tablet can physically be on this side. Let me just uh, put this back to way, the way it was, okay? So I can rearrange it as I please. And you can see we have the Galaxy S25, the Tab S9 Ultra, they're both connected. You can see everything right here, okay? Now let me show you one more thing. First, you can see here's my Samsung account that I'm logged into to all my other devices. So if I come over here to my phone, same thing, I go to my settings, and I go over to uh, con connected devices and I go to multi-control. Same Samsung account and it is enabled as you can see. And of course, the same situation applies to the tablet. So if I go to my settings on the tablet right here, I go to my connected devices and then I go to multi-control. It is enabled with the same Samsung account. And that's what makes this unification possible. Okay, so that's a powerful multi-control feature. Let's talk about the next feature. Now, the next feature is where I'm able to project or extend this display to my Samsung Galaxy tablet. Now, this is a 14-inch laptop. The screen is 14 inches. It may not be big enough for some work-related tasks. So if I have a Samsung tablet on top of the uh, Samsung Galaxy laptop, I can extend the display from here to here, and that's gonna give me additional workspace. So let me show you how to get that done and how amazing it looks. All you do is you launch the pre-installed application known as the second screen. Second screen is gonna be right here. I'm gonna launch that application. And once I do that, it's gonna give me the option to extend it. So you can see it recognizes that I have a Samsung Galaxy tablet sitting right next to it okay so all i do is now i would simply click on it and it says switch to using second screen i'm going to say yes so look at this there's a pop-up here that says allow i'm going to say yes always allow tap on allow and look at what happens guys i'm going to have the display extension so i can use the screen here uh, for maximum productivity look at this so right now it is acting as a duplicate, okay? It's a wireless connection. But what I wanna do is I wanna do extension. So look at this, I'm gonna tap on this display mode. I'm gonna say extend. Now I have two displays. Also, because this display is sitting on the, on the right, on the left side, I'm gonna take it from here. I'm gonna put it right here and I'm gonna tap on apply. Now let me just come a little bit closer. Now look at this. Here is my pointer and I can swipe over. By the way, this is all Windows now, okay? So I'm able to extend the display from my laptop to my tablet, which is insane. So that's second screen. Now let's move on to the next one. All right, so this next feature works again with any product, tablet, computer, phone, in any order, but I'm gonna demonstrate using the phone and the laptop. So let, look at this. Here's some block of text. Let's say I copy something on my laptop and let's say I just wanna copy to my phone for some reason. There are many use case scenarios for things like these. So let's copy this block of text right here. I'm gonna say copy and look at what's gonna happen. Copy, okay? And then I can actually come here and I can paste it, okay? Completely automatically, that same thing I just copied from here, I was able to paste right there. Let me show you one more simpler, smaller example. So again, here's an empty note. Let's just copy the title here. I'm gonna say 1984, copy. 
Look at this. It says copied from H Book 5 Pro. And now I can tap here, press and hold. There we go. Okay. So this is also possible back and forth. If I copy something here, I can paste it over here as well, or I can do it with the tablet, whatever. No matter how many Samsung products you have, this continuity is just gonna happen. Now, let me show you how this is regulated. So again, here's the phone. You go to your settings, same thing with the tablet. You go to connected devices, and then it is known as continue on other devices. You just have to make sure it is enabled on the phone and the tablet and the laptop is going to already be enabled it's going to know that they are enabled so if i tap on this one look at the, all the things you can do you can continue apps you can copy and paste wi-fi networks automatically get transferred with all your samsung devices again as long as you're logged in with your same samsung account and you can also do camera continuity so this is basically continue on other devices meaning do something on this device and then using the ecosystem, continue on the other devices. I just give you a simple example of copy and paste, but you have all these other options as well once it is enabled. And just to show you guys, if I go to my tablet, it is the same menu. I go to my settings, I go to connected devices, and it's going to be right here as you can see. All right. All right, so here's one of my favorite features. It is known as the quick share feature. Basically, I can share back and forth any file between any of these devices almost instantaneously, even if they are very, very large video files. So let me give you a quick example using the laptop and the phone as an example, but I can do the same from the tablet to the laptop, laptop to the tablet, tablet to the phone, whatever, any order you please. So take a look at this. Here's my phone. Let's say I have a photo I wanna transfer to the computer or multiple photos or multiple videos, doesn't matter. So let's say I wanna copy all these photos and these are large photos. So I'm gonna select all of them. I'm gonna tap on share. And then this is basically the airdrop for Samsung. And then you tap on the quick share right here, okay? And when you tap on quick share, all the available devices are going to show up right here. This one is my Samsung Galaxy Book, which is showing up right there. So what I'm going to do is I am going to tap. Okay, it's going to connect. It's sending 16 files over. You can see the progress bar. Okay, so let's wait for that to happen. These are massive files and look at how quickly they are transferring over as you can see. Okay, transfer is complete. It opens up the folder. So now all these photos or videos that I had in my gallery here, I have them right there as well. Let me change the view so you can see it. Large icons, they're all right here. Now this is great. If I'm out there recording something with my phone, maybe, maybe I'm shooting a movie or whatever, I can come home, transfer from here to here immediately and just edit the movie on my laptop. It makes workflow so much easy. And like I said, I can do the same thing from here to here, here to here, here to here, here to here, whatever you need to do, it is available, all right? So that's a quick share feature. All right, so here's the final feature. It's known as the phone link feature or link to Windows feature. Basically, I can project my phone to my laptop just like that. That is the entirety of my phone. You can see I can control it from here as well. So whatever I do over here is actually happening on the phone, okay? That is fantastic. So when I get calls, when I get text messages, I can respond from here. And if I don't want this interface, I can also have a different interface. Let me show that to you, which is right over here, okay? That is the phone link where I can access my messages, calls, apps, photos, right from here. This is insane. All right, so to activate this actually is very easy. All Samsung laptops come with the phone link application. You just search for that. That is phone link. And then it asks you to log in and then you click on the phone, which is if I X this out, for example, all I do is I come here and I can click on the phone and it just brings it up as you can see. Now on the phone itself, you just have to enable the link to Windows feature 
Let me show that to you. That will be under settings, connected devices. And then if I scroll over to link to Windows right here, it is enabled and I am logged in with my Microsoft account. So this is gonna require a Microsoft account to work because it is working with a Windows laptop. You can do this on any Windows laptop, which is great. Does not have to be a Samsung laptop. But once you enable it here and log in with your Microsoft account, you do the same thing on your laptop in the phone link application, which is right here. And it's just gonna seamlessly connect to each other. All right, and then I can do things like this. Here's my phone. Let me just minimize this and this. But here's my phone right there, as you can see. All right, guys, so that brings us to the end of this video. And I hope you guys learned some fantastic capabilities of the Samsung ecosystem. If you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below, let me know. For now, have a fantastic day.